morning, this is Carla. So as you can hear with the birds chirping, I'm outside. But I wanted to do this live stream on Facebook, and I'm going to put it on my other channels and my website uh, because um, it's in regard to the certified in cybersecurity, my exam experience. So if you've been following me on my blog, carlarjenkins.com on YouTube, thank you. But this is part of the ISC Square. 1 million certified in cybersecurity and then it's an entry level cybersecurity certification and I always preface that I have several years of experience in cybersecurity when taking it so I provisionally pass but I wanted to uh, let you know um, regarding my experience you have to go to a physical testing center I went to Pearson View that's where the test is administered through I believe in the United States so I went to one and what I would say is that it's entry level, but I would recommend you studying uh, CompTIA Security Plus 2. The exam, the self-paced on learning isn't enough for you to pass it. Uh, I had to rely a lot on my previous knowledge of ports and everything and I've gone through the whole self-paced learning and I took the pre-course assessment and the post-course assessment and a lot of things that were on the exam weren't covered. I would recommend the book uh, Get Certified, Get Ahead, which is a CompTIA Security Plus um, exam prep guide that would really help you uh, pass this exam. I do feel that this exam is very helpful because of the brand of ISC squared. But if you just use the uh, self-paced uh, information and study guide that they provide, that's not enough because it doesn't go into depth um, for you what you would need to pass. So I wanted to tell people about that. Um, I have used some of Mike Chappell's LinkedIn learning class about it, but I didn't go all the way through, so I can't definitively say whether or not he covers everything. But what I will say is do some security plus. I recommend the book, Get Certified, Get Ahead. Also, you should check out Professor Messer, Security Plus. If you are on YouTube, I would recommend that too. But don't feel if you are sitting for the certified in cybersecurity that the online self paced learning and the pre-course assessment and post-course assessment are enough. I would also check out the flashcards too, uh, the flashcards on Quizlets, which I, I'll put a link to because I talked about them on a YouTube video. I do think a lot of that is in there that's not necessarily in the self-paced learning, so I would check that out too. But that's my my experience, my resources and recommendations because I always create content and videos to make sure that you get a full holistic picture of what's expected when you apply, the resources. So because time and money are two very important resources to you and I respect my audience enough to be able to provide you an unbiased look because I do it myself. So once again, this is for the certified in cybersecurity, my exam experience. Also, you want to work with me in cybersecurity, get in touch with me at carlarjenkins.com forward slash contact. Thank you for watching. I'll see everybody in the next video.